All right, guys, got a quick video here for you, which, you know, of course, I don't know how quick, but, you know, just in theory, quick video, man, that I want to discuss here as you take a look at what's on the screen here. And let me start off by saying this, you know, shout outs to our Poo CYGG, as well as Clint Oldenburg. I just happened to see this tweet. Uh, I'm not pointing out this tweet, you know, as a positive for either one of these gentlemen or a negative for either one of these gentlemen. I'm basically just using this tweet as an example right you know to kind of address what i'm basically addressing there in the title of this video you know i always want to know whether or not the madden community trusts the development team you know do you believe the development team uh, do you think the development team lies or do you think they tell the truth you know i always want to know your thoughts on that because what you're seeing here in this tweet is exactly the type of stuff that i've been saying for several years you know exactly the type of things that you heard from rex dixon when he was a part of the madden team and you know you're hearing it here from clint oldenburg you know and there's many other guys on staff that you know i know this to be fact because again you guys know my affiliation with ea you know and being able to work closely with them for madden you know trying to help give whatever two cents i can provide to get the best product but we all understand and we should understand by now that it's beyond the dev level. OK, it's beyond the dev level. And the reason why I'm even making this video is, again, a lot of times when I say these things, you know, people just look at it at the surface level. You know, they just say, oh, on the surface, this is just Sim talking. No, I'll continue to give you examples and show you <laughs> live in living color that is the development team that is basically concurring what you hear me say again rex dixon did this very publicly but again you know if you didn't want to believe rex you didn't want to believe me look at what clinton is saying here and i'll just read the tweet you know basically Pooh again shout outs to him he said people no longer ask madden to be more realistic because the engine won't allow it but why do they ignore other requests such as halftime shows weekly wrap-ups interviews training camp the combine and whole a lot of other things and you know first and foremost i fully agree with Pooh. you guys know i'm a franchise head you know that is my baby the reason why you you know recently you guys see that i post 2k videos you know because 2k gives me that depth when it comes to franchise you know and other games alike madden is nowhere close to any of those games nowhere close to what it once had all of these things <laughs> that Pooh was talking about with maybe the exception of the halftime show i don't quite remember that but everything else was pretty much there for the most part in old madden you know two generations ago so these are valid questions and this is a valid thought by a standard you know consumer and i say standard when i when i say that what i mean is a standard consumer doesn't have the same you know the visual ability that i have on madden as far as knowing the ins and outs because you're not behind the curtain so this is a valid question valid thought by poo clint oldenburg says i don't think this is true there's a lot of folks that still push for more and more authenticity including me the reason some of your top priorities haven't been tackled yet is because we are getting the gameplay and base modes as authentic as possible first all right now this is a big statement and you know again i make this as a video because obviously i like to document everything and allow you guys to know exactly what my thought process is this is now documented you know clint you're basically telling us well we're trying to do this first you know basically giving the impression that the intention is to move forward going forward now i know how many times have we said that how many times have we heard this but it just brings me to my point you know clint is basically telling you the truth that is coming from his perspective at least we have to take it as that you know we would have to take it on the surface is okay what he's telling us is true that this is what he means you know clint is basically i'm not sure if clint is the creative director i think he is the uh uh i think he is the lead gameplay designer if i'm not mistaken um so but anyway you know clint is pretty much running running the team as far as the dev team um and i'm not sure exactly who the creative director is at this point you know as far as 
who took over for Rex as far as that position. Maybe they didn't fill it. I don't know. But either way, Clint is more so, you know, the man in charge of getting the gameplay team and bringing everybody together. You actually heard, maybe you didn't, but, you know, A-Dub did an interview recently and he referred to Clint as his boss. So there you go. But my point is, again, do you believe the development team? And this is more or less a question for you guys that are going to watch this video. I always wonder that because, again, you know, myself and Smitty and even Azure Effect, you know, when Azure was still able to do the show with us. And even when he's able to chime in now, we've always given you the real in terms of our experience while at EA and the experience that we have with the development team and the experience that we have understanding who's calling the shots. So my whole point of making this video again is A, to document it. You know, Clint is telling us that, you know, these are the things that we're doing first, which I fully respect that, as you should. You hear me say all the time, listen, if gameplay is not where it needs to be, it's not going to support the things that I want to see in franchise anyway. So I definitely want them to address gameplay. So I respect that approach, but I'm going to be looking at this with one eyebrow raised to see where do you go in terms of the future? Because you're basically telling us here, listen, we want to attack this first, and then after we get that tight, we'll move on, okay? But again, you know, to wrap up this video, I just want to know where you guys stand, because again, man, this stuff you've actually heard from more than one source. Again, Rex Dixon clearly told us publicly, you know, the battles that he faced, why he was there in terms of, you know, getting the powers that be to allow them to, you know, progress the game in the direction they wanted to go in. You hear me say it religiously, you know, telling you guys a lot of in and outs that I can share. You always hear us discuss that on the Sim Standard podcast. As well as now, here's Clint saying basically the same thing. It's not at the dev level. The devs will want the game to be the best it can be. Again, I have no other reason but to believe that because of the relationship I have with those guys and I've talked to these guys on a more personal level, not just in that building. You know, we've been at dinners together and things like that. I know what these guys want to do. So that's the only reason for this video, man. You know, a couple of reasons there. And like I said, I just want to hear it from you guys, you know, and, and, and be passionate, you know, and try not to be negative. Don't be negative and, you know, all of the cursing and da 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 give me your real thoughts you know what i mean give me your real thoughts as to whether you believe them or do not believe them and do you believe that it is beyond the development team as far as what deems to be priority you know you know what i'm saying and this is the stuff that i've been saying for years guys you know and here's clint again basically co-signing the stuff that i've been trying to say so there you have it, man. Just a quick video there. We'd love to hear you guys' thoughts. Of course, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Cut on your notifications. Hit that like button. And I'll definitely catch you in the next one. Until next time, let me know what you think. Peace.